I want to give you guys a sneak peek inside the quality assurance written exam study guide that I have for you guys. So this applies for any dental hygienist who needs to write the quality assurance exam. Depending on where you live, different provinces do require this of you every certain amount of years, or maybe you were audited and you're taking the exam. This is a study guide for you. So let me give you a little sneak peek. Um, this is what the sales page looks like. So I will leave the link for you guys down below. A lot of people ask me, they say, um, Andrea, I'm a dental hygienist in Ontario. I'm a dental hygienist in BC. I'm a dental hygienist in, you know, whatever province this will apply to you because what it is, is it gives you a rundown on those topics that are going to be on your quality assurance exam, no matter where you live. If you're taking the quality assurance exam as a dental hygienist, what is quality assurance. It's going to ask you questions like basic sciences about the community. It's going to ask you pharmacology, emergencies, health and safety, infection control is a big one, process of care, ethics, radiography, special needs. All of that is universal, meaning it's not going to be different in BC, maybe slightly depending on ethics, but they don't ask you specific to Ontario hygienists or BC hygienists or wherever you may live. I give you guys a rundown. So what I've done is I've taken that exam that I've taken before and I've compiled it into different PowerPoints for you and teaching videos, which I will show you guys in a moment. So you don't have to buy another textbook again. You don't have to look and say, I don't even know where to start. Like, where do I start studying? I handle all of that for you. So here is the sneak peek inside what the course actually looks like. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually going to take my face out of it so you guys can see it fully. So again, this is a sneak peek here. If you guys look on the left hand side, you will see all of these different modules, but I'm just going to go down and show you them this way because I'm currently on my desktop um, computer. Um, if you're on a tablet, the left hand side kind of shows up a little bit easier, but I figure just to make it larger, I want to show you guys on this one. So the modules. So I do have some videos for you. There's also going to be text as well. But if you look, there's different checklists. There's different things like our dental hygiene handbook. There's new program guidelines. There's an there's an IPAC um, the IPAC checklist. And then some things are specific to, for example, um, dental hygienists in BC, which I do have that here for you. Now, learning about sciences, you're going to need to know microbiology, perio, plaque, nutrition, anatomy on your exam, I give you all of those PowerPoints. So you don't have to read through a textbook. You don't have to do a Google search on microbiology. I have it all here for you. You just have to read through them. It's going to take you time, but you just have to read through them and then you will learn all of that. And then at the very bottom, I'm just kind of skipping through the modules here. At the very bottom, you guys, there's going to be a mock exam quiz for you, which is all right here. So there's mock exam quizzes. There is going to be answers as well. There's different mock exam practice on different topics that I find dental hygienists struggle with the most and what you need to know for your quality assurance exam. So it's all right here for you. You don't have to worry about textbooks. You don't have to have to worry about, you know, where am I going to find all of this study information? I am here to help you. Dental hygienists have passed. There is still a currently 97% success rate. It might actually be a little bit higher now in 2023. This is the 2023 one for the quality assurance practice. There's going to be an updated one for 2024 as well. There are, are actually several high um, hygienists to this day that purchase all of them because they just like to be in the know of kind of what's going on. Like they'll, um, they'll purchase the 2022 um, version. They will purchase the 2023 one. They're not always taking the quality assurance exam or test, but they kind of want the updated infection control, the updated ethics, you know, all of that to just make it a little bit easier for them. So let me know you guys, if you have any questions, I'll leave the link for you down below. I am always here if you need me and thank you for watching.